my reflux was getting progressively worse to the point to where I was getting reflux from drinking a glass of water. And I'd gone to a, a gastro guy before and he had told me, oh no, that's at least five to 10 years down the road. And then the next week I saw Dr. Idy's piece on the news and I gave him a call and said, hey, let's do something about this. When, when patients come in and they have a variety of symptoms, some of which may be reflux and some of which may be other disorders, uh, there are a lot of different tests that we can do. Upper endoscopy, uh, pH study, manometry, a new study called impedance, upper GI study, which is an x-ray study, and also even looking at the gallbladder to see whether that's working. We have all those different tools to help us tell, is this reflux, is it something else, or are there two things going on? And to be able to get the right evaluation is very important, because if you don't have the right diagnosis, obviously the treatment's not going to work. We did the uh, endoscopy and took a look and he said, yeah, you're a candidate for it. He explained to me that I had uh, GERD, which is gastric esophageal reflux disease. And the procedure would be called a TIF procedure, transoral incisionless fundoplication. When patients come into the office, we will sit down and discuss their symptoms. And we'll evaluate both their symptoms, we'll suggest a workup, then we'll decide uh, whether they're a candidate for the surgery or whether they should have further evaluations to rule out some of the other conditions that can contribute to reflux. I remember the first appointment prior to having the procedure, he had a, a, a dry board and he drew, drew his drawings and explained what was going to happen during the procedure, what was going on in my body. Dr. Idy explains everything. A, B, C, all the way down to the Z. He explains it all and he's very methodic and he's open to any questions you want. He, he gets the job done. He's great, got a great bedside man. Now I was able to enjoy life again.